what if I told you that predicting the motion of three celestial bodies in space is a problem that has perplexed scientists for centuries? At its core, celestial mechanics is all about understanding the motion of celestial bodies like stars, planets, and asteroids in the infinite expanse of space. Historically, one problem in this field has proven particularly challenging, the three-body problem. So, what exactly is the three-body problem? It refers to the challenge of predicting the motion of three or more celestial bodies in space, taking into account their gravitational interactions. This problem has its roots planted deeply in the 17th century, when Sir Isaac Newton formulated his laws of motion and universal gravitation. These laws worked perfectly well for predicting the motion of two celestial bodies. In a two-body system like the Earth and the Moon, the motion can be easily predicted, but add a third body such as the Sun, and things get complicated. The gravitational pull of each body affects the others, leading to unpredictable orbits. The three-body problem is all about predicting the motion of three celestial bodies interacting with each other through gravitational forces. The gravitational pull between each pair of bodies is constantly changing due to their relative movements, and this makes predicting their future positions a daunting task. The three-body problem has remained unsolved for centuries. Many brilliant minds from Euler to Lagrange and Poincaré to Einstein have grappled with this conundrum. The three-body problem has real-world implications, from understanding the stability of planetary systems and galaxies to planning space missions and even predicting weather patterns on Earth. To unravel the three-body problem, we first need to understand the two-body problem. Let's imagine two celestial bodies, say, our Earth and the Sun. In this cosmic dance, they're constantly pulling each other closer with a force called gravity, yet they never collide. Why is that? Consider this. The Earth is not just being pulled towards the Sun, but also moving forward. This forward motion, or tangential velocity, makes the Earth want to travel in a straight line. But the Sun's gravitational pull bends this straight path into an orbit, creating a delicate balance that keeps the Earth from hurtling into the Sun or drifting off into space. This is what we call the two-body problem. The strength of the gravitational force between these two bodies depends on two things, their masses and the distance between them. Picture it like a tug of war. The heavier the bodies and the closer they are, the stronger the tug. But if they drift apart, the pull weakens. This tug-of-war concept was first nailed down by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century. His law of universal gravitation explains why the apple falls from the tree, why we stick to the ground, and, on a grander scale, how the moon orbits the earth and the earth orbits the sun. So, the two-body problem is all about understanding this gravitational dance between two celestial bodies. It's about predicting their future positions based on their current positions and velocities. And thanks to the regularity and predictability of the two-body problem, we're able to send spacecrafts on precise interplanetary journeys and predict solar and lunar eclipses years in advance. When it's just two bodies, the math is manageable, the dance is elegant, and the future is predictable. But what happens when we add another dancer to this cosmic ballet? This is where the intrigue begins, much like the anticipation that surrounds the Netflix adaptation of Liu Cixin's acclaimed novel, The Three-Body Problem. The show, much like the additional celestial body, adds a layer of complexity and unpredictability to the narrative, captivating audiences worldwide. Now that we understand the simplicity of the two-body problem, it's time to introduce a third body into the mix, just as the story unravels in the popular Netflix series. Imagine throwing a third celestial body into our Earth-Sun system. When we introduce a third celestial body into the mix, we're no longer dealing with a simple, predictable two-body problem. We're entering a zone of complexity where the dance of celestial bodies becomes an intricate ballet of gravitational forces. This is what we call the three-body problem. Picture the Earth and the Sun engaging in their eternal dance around their shared center of mass. The Earth's orbit around the Sun is an ellipse, a shape that's been etched into the cosmos by the gravitational pull between these two bodies. But what happens when we throw another dancer into this celestial ballroom? Let's say the Moon. Suddenly the Earth isn't just being pulled towards the Sun, it's also being tugged towards the Moon. The Moon, in turn, is being pulled by both the Earth and the Sun. And let's not forget the Sun, which is also feeling the gravitational effects of the Earth and the Moon. The elegant two-body waltz has transformed into a three-body tango. In this three-body situation, we're dealing with a set of gravitational interactions that are much more complex. 
Every celestial body is simultaneously influencing and being influenced by the other two. The gravitational forces are no longer constant but dynamic and changing. The paths of the celestial bodies become more unpredictable, and their orbits start to look less like neat ellipses and more like intricate spirals or even chaotic paths. This is the essence of the three-body problem. It's a question of how three celestial bodies will move under their mutual gravitational attraction. It's a problem that's been stumping scientists for centuries because, unlike the two-body problem, it doesn't have a neat, mathematical solution. Predicting the movements of three interacting bodies requires complex calculations that take into account the gravitational forces between each pair of bodies, as well as their changing positions and velocities. But why does this matter? Understanding the three-body problem is crucial for everything from planning space missions to studying distant star systems. It helps us understand how planets and moons interact in our solar system, and how stars, black holes, and galaxies behave in the wider universe. It even has implications for understanding climate patterns on Earth, which are influenced by the gravitational interactions between the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. So the next time you gaze up into the night sky, spare a thought for the cosmic ballet happening above you. Because every star, every planet, every moon is engaged in a complex dance of gravitational forces, a dance that's beautifully intricate, wonderfully chaotic, and incredibly hard to predict. As you can see, the third body creates a cosmic dance that is far from predictable. Why is the three-body problem so difficult to solve? Let's delve into the complexities. The non-linearity of the three-body problem is the first hurdle. In simple terms, non-linearity refers to a situation where the whole is not directly proportional to the sum of its parts. When it comes to the three-body problem, the gravitational pull between three celestial bodies doesn't add up in a simple linear way. Instead, the forces interact with one another, creating a complex, unpredictable dance. This non-linearity is what makes a general one-size-fits-all solution impossible. Moving on, let's discuss chaos theory. You may have heard of the butterfly effect, the idea that a butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil can cause a tornado in Texas. This is a dramatic illustration of chaos theory, which says that small changes in initial conditions can lead to wildly different outcomes. In the context of the three-body problem, this means that even the tiniest variations in the position, speed, or direction of any one of the three bodies can drastically change the course of their gravitational dance. Think of it like setting up dominoes. If you nudge one domino just a hair off its intended position, it can cause your entire domino design to fall apart. Similarly, in the three-body problem, even the most minuscule changes in the initial positions, velocities, or masses of the bodies can result in dramatically different outcomes. Now, you might be wondering why does all this matter? Well, the three-body problem is not just an abstract mathematical puzzle. It has real-world implications. For instance, understanding the three-body problem can help us predict the movements of planets, moons, and even spacecraft. But the unpredictability inherent in the problem means that these predictions can never be perfectly accurate. The three-body problem is like a cosmic game of billiards with planets and stars as the balls. But unlike in billiards, where we can predict the outcome of a shot with reasonable accuracy, the three body problem is full of surprises. Just when we think we've got it figured out, it throws us a curveball. Many brilliant minds have tried to crack the three body problem. When we delve into the annals of scientific history, two figures stand tall in their attempts to untangle the three body problem. French mathematicians Joseph Louis Lagrange and Henri Poincaré. Their contributions, while not definitive solutions, have deepened our understanding of this cosmic conundrum. First, let's travel back to the late 18th century. The French-Italian mathematician Lagrange was one of the first to grapple with the three-body problem. He made a significant discovery, identifying five points in space where the gravitational forces of two large bodies, like the Earth and the Moon, create a sort of gravitational sweet spot. A smaller third body, like a satellite, could theoretically maintain a stable position relative to the larger two. These points, now known as Lagrange points, are still used today in space exploration for positioning spacecraft. His work on the three-body problem was groundbreaking. Fast forward a century and we meet Poincaré. Known as the last universalist, Poincaré was a polymath who dabbled in various fields of mathematics and theoretical physics. Instead of searching for a precise solution, Poincaré accepted that the problem was too complex for a neat mathematical formula. Instead, he developed an original approach called qualitative analysis, focusing on the problem's general behavior rather than exact predictions. 
Poincaré's work on the three-body problem led him to an extraordinary discovery, the Poincaré Recurrence Theorem. This theorem states that certain systems will, after a sufficiently long but finite time, return to a state very close to the initial state. In simple terms, given enough time, everything repeats. This theorem laid the groundwork for the development of chaos theory, a field of study that explores the behavior of dynamical systems that are sensitive to initial conditions. Despite the significant strides made by Lagrange and Poincaré, the three-body problem remained unsolved. Its inherent unpredictability, the sensitivity to initial conditions, and the complex interplay of gravitational forces make it a tough nut to crack. However, their work has not been in vain. The concept of Lagrange points has become an integral part of space exploration. It's why the James Webb Space Telescope orbits the Sun from the second Lagrange point. Poincaré's qualitative analysis has given us a new way to study complex systems, not just in celestial mechanics, but in areas as diverse as weather prediction, population dynamics, and even the stock market. His recurrence theorem, meanwhile, has been a cornerstone in the development of chaos theory, a field that continues to shape our understanding of the world around us. In the end, these attempts at solving the three-body problem have done more than just shine a light on this particular mystery. They have pushed the boundaries of mathematics and physics, leading to new methods, new theories, and new ways to understand the universe. They may not have found the solution they were looking for, but in their quest, they discovered something perhaps even more valuable. The realization that the universe's complexity is not a barrier to understanding, but a gateway to deeper, richer knowledge. Despite its complexities, the three-body problem has significant implications in modern science. Its tentacles reach into the heart of several crucial aspects of our daily life and the cosmos. Let's start with spacecraft navigation. When planning a mission to Mars or any other celestial body, the three-body problem becomes an invaluable tool. The spacecraft Earth and the target planet form a dynamic trio, each influencing the other's motion. By understanding the intricacies of these interactions, scientists can plot the most energy-efficient course, saving on fuel and making the journey feasible. This understanding extends to the larger cosmos as well. The three-body problem helps us understand the choreography of galaxies. It provides insights into the formation and evolution of galaxies, including our own Milky Way. By studying the gravitational interactions among stars, scientists can map out the past and future trajectories of galaxies, shedding light on the cosmic ballet that has been unfolding for billions of years. But the implications of the three-body problem are not just confined to the celestial sphere. It has its feet firmly planted on Earth as well, particularly in weather forecasting. Weather patterns are the result of complex interactions among various elements, like atmospheric pressure, temperature, and humidity. These elements can be thought of as bodies in a dynamic system, each influencing the others. The principles of the three-body problem help meteorologists predict these patterns, and, in turn, the weather. So, whether it's planning a space mission, unraveling the mysteries of galaxy formation, or predicting tomorrow's weather, the three-body problem is a key player. It lends itself to these areas, not despite its complexity, but because of it. Yet, it's important to note that the three-body problem is still unsolved in the general sense. We can approximate solutions, make educated guesses, but a definitive, universal solution remains elusive. This is not a failure of science, but rather a testament to the complexity and vastness of the universe we inhabit. The three-body problem prompts us to ask questions, to push the boundaries of our understanding. It reminds us that the universe is a complex, dynamic entity, full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. And every time we use the three-body problem to navigate a spacecraft, understand a galaxy, or predict the weather, we take one small step towards unraveling those mysteries. The three-body problem, though unsolved, continues to shape our understanding of the universe. It is a beacon of mystery and discovery, reminding us that the pursuit of knowledge is an ongoing journey, full of challenges, surprises, and endless possibilities. From science to fiction, the three-body problem has found its way into popular culture. This enigmatic puzzle of celestial motion has transcended its roots in physics and mathematics to inspire and intrigue artists, writers, and game developers. Its complexity and unpredictability have become a metaphor for the unpredictable nature of relationships, societies, and even the universe itself. Let's start with literature. The three-body problem has been the backbone of numerous science fiction novels. Perhaps the most well-known among them is The Three-Body Problem by Liu Cixin, and now a Netflix limited series. 
This Hugo Award-winning novel, the first in a trilogy, uses the three-body problem as a central plot device. The story revolves around an alien civilization trapped in a chaotic three-star system struggling to predict and survive the ruthless dance of their sons. The novel's success lies in its ability to take a complex scientific concept and weave it into an engaging narrative, making the concept accessible and intriguing to a wider audience. Liu Cixin's work is a testament to the power of the three-body problem as a narrative tool, symbolizing the unpredictability and chaos of life itself. In addition to the three-body problem Netflix series, the three-body problem has inspired several films. While not directly named, the concept is often used as a metaphor for complex, unpredictable relationships. It's particularly fitting for stories that involve love triangles, where the dynamic between three individuals can be as unpredictable and chaotic as the motion of three celestial bodies. The three-body problem has also found its way into video games. In these digital realms, the problem is more than a narrative device or metaphor. It's a fundamental rule that governs the behavior of objects in the game world. Whether it's a space exploration game where players navigate through star systems, or a puzzle game where the solution depends on the chaotic interactions of three elements, the three-body problem provides a unique mechanic that adds depth and complexity to gameplay. The three-body problem has even permeated music. Some composers have used the unpredictable nature of the three-body problem to create musical compositions that are ever-changing and unique. The three-body problem, in its complexity and mystery, has captivated not only scientists, but also artists and storytellers. What does the future hold for the three-body problem? The future of the three-body problem rests heavily on the advancements in computational physics and mathematics. Computational physics, the branch of physics that employs numerical algorithms to solve problems, is advancing at a rapid pace. With the advent of quantum computing, we are on the brink of a revolution. Quantum computers, with their ability to process complex calculations at speeds unimaginable today, could potentially crack the code of the three-body problem. On the other hand, mathematics, the language of the universe, is continually evolving. New mathematical models and theories are being developed that could provide a fresh perspective on this age-old problem. The introduction of chaos theory, for instance, has already shed some light on the unpredictable nature of the three-body system. In the realm of artificial intelligence, machine learning algorithms are being trained to find patterns and predict outcomes in complex systems. These algorithms could be used to simulate various scenarios involving three bodies and predict their movements with increased accuracy. Moreover, our understanding of the universe is constantly being refined. As we uncover more about dark matter, dark energy, and the fabric of space-time, our approach to the three-body problem could undergo a paradigm shift. However, it's essential to remember that the three-body problem, at its core, is a question about the fundamental nature of the universe. It's not just about predicting the motion of celestial bodies, but about understanding the very laws that govern our universe. Despite the advancements in technology and the evolution of scientific thought, the three-body problem remains a deeply complex and fascinating puzzle. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the three-body problem remains a tantalizing enigma, challenging us to unravel its secrets.